I want to jump in for just a moment, David, because, you know, you mentioned all of the highlights, and, and, it, and it's certainly true, that, that this is a guy who speaks out, he's blunt, he's willing to buck the leadership on some issues because he has principles and because he's holding his line for what he believes is best for the country and for his constituents. But there's some interesting background information there as well. Alan Grayson is one of the wealthiest members of Congress. He, so he's a progressive, but he's also an extremely successful capitalist, I would say. He made a significant amount of money as a prominent lawyer in Florida, and also doing a lot of business in China, including open up, opening up Kentucky Fried Chicken chains there. So this is a guy who's not some crazy communist out there. He just has this idea of a conscience and of justice and of morality. And I've seen him speak very poignantly about that and, and very effectively. And it's also important to note that he has been a leader on some legislative issues and in that he helped include provisions in the Dodd-Frank legislation together with people on the right, like Ron Paul, that would audit the Federal Reserve. Again, that would audit the Federal Reserve because we don't always know what kind of money they were giving to banks and how they were giving that money to banks. You know, th there's a lot of cross-pollination here between the left and the right that I don't think that people give Congressman Grayson credit for. He's, he's a, look, he can, he can punch with the best of them in terms of rhetoric, but he's a legislative deal maker as well. And he doesn't let, he, 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 I think he's the perfect example of someone who is able to synthesize a, a, a rock solid commitment to progressive values with, with pragmatic lawmaking and leadership. 